Hello everybody and welcome to the Little Wishes page and welcome into my kitchen. I'm having a cup of tea. Do you remember, will you have a cup of tea, Father? You will, you will, you will, you will, you will. Well, I'm here, I'm after pouring my tea because I started, this is take two. I started and the minute I started doing this video, Angel wanted to get out into the garden. So I have my cup of tea poured, I have my milk in, and I'm having some of this beautiful banana bread that I'm delighted I make myself, thanks to a happy pear recipe, but most important to Sarah, one of my friends that I'm in another group with, who told me all about this and gave me some to taste. So I'm gonna have some. It's gorgeous. Excuse me now. Hmm, that's good for you as well. Is there anything as nice as a cup of tea? Anything and a chat. It really is something that we all are so used to and we all love. There's nothing like a cup of tea, but there's nothing even nicer than a cup of tea and a chat with a very good friend. Well, I'm here on the Little Wishes page and for you that don't know anything about Little Wishes, I started Little Wishes about three, four years ago, can't really remember, out of a personal need to be part of the community and to arrange and maybe feel a support system as a cancer patient. Now at the time I was cancer free when I started, but 10, 12 years ago, I went through a really tough time when I was first diagnosed. And I felt the hardest part was the lack, the feeling of isolation because you're in at home a lot, you know, when you're going through treatment and everything else, you can be on your own a lot. And I have a really good husband and wonderful kids and a great family, but sometimes it becomes really difficult for even them because it's all very overwhelming. And one particular day, the doorbell went and it was a bouquet of flowers from a group of ladies that I hardly knew. It was just ladies from the school where my children went, we wouldn't have been real good friends or anything, but they had this need to let me know that they cared about me. And I want to say that that bouquet of flowers meant so much to me because all of a sudden I realized there are people out there who do care, but really don't know how to do anything about it. So Little Wishes started, and at the time, the most important thing was I had this idea of giving little wishes and little treats to people affected by cancer on behalf of our community. So basically, we were, the idea was we had a fun run to raise money and the money would go to organizing little treats to be delivered by what we call our fairy godmothers to local people affected by cancer. Now, Little Wishes has gone from strength to strength. I am so, so proud of it. And I have to say, by all accounts, the success is due to the support system that I have and the team that I have working behind the scenes in Little Wishes. I have a wonderful group of ladies and gentlemen who are part of our committee, I like to call it team, and they have helped make Little Wishes a success. It's been their hard work because unfortunately, I had a re-diagnosis a couple of years ago and I had to take time out and I was worried Little Wishes would disappear, but it didn't. It didn't because of the work of the team that are behind Little Wishes. And I just would love, if I can, I hope that it's okay, to mention this great team. It's Michelle and Liz, Michael, Claire, Des, Margaret, and there's so many others that get are involved and tip in and out. Donna, who's taking a bit of time out, but will come back. We've got Teresa, we've got Aileen. And the wonderful thing you have to remember about Little Wishes is, this isn't a closed shop. This is not a closed shop. If you feel you can help us in any way, it would be fantastic. Now, at the moment, we're working on a, fabulous, a few brilliant projects. And what we are intending to do within the next few years is to actually have our very own premises where we can provide what other cancer centers all over the country provide. Why can't we have our own? We need it in town. We need that we don't have to travel far for treatment and for, or for therapies and for help and for support. But here's the reason I'm having my cup of tea. I'm going to have a sip because it's lovely. And I want to tell you about the tea and chat. We're very excited to be moving to the next level. Little Wishes will be delivering wishes forever. 
but we also have other projects that I'd like to share with you. And the very first one that I'm very, very, very proud of is we are now ready to absolutely start this wonderful support group called Tea and Chat. And the Tea and Chat is starting in the parish centre this Friday from 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock. And we have two wonderful ladies who are cancer survivors who will be literally helping you and inviting you to come and have that tea and chat. They'll be basically um, liaising with you and having the chat and organising it and making sure that everything works out. The two ladies are Margaret and Trina. And as I said, both of them are cancer survivors. Margaret is also a registered nurse and has been an amazing carer and nurse up in Ophelia House for years. I have seen how caring and loving she is because she looked after my father and it's something I'll never ever forget. She is just a magical lady. Trina is literally a breath of fresh air. She's a very young, beautiful girl, has a beautiful daughter and a lovely husband and she has literally decided to help us uh, get this off the ground. She's a brilliant PR girl as well. And she'd kill me for all this and so will Margaret. But anyway, we do, I suppose the reason I want to do this is I really do want to connect on a personal level with anyone out there who is going through a cancer diagnosis or cancer itself or has a, somebody they love that's going through cancer. It can be a very, very isolating time it's a very challenging time and to have a little group of people who are maybe in the same boat or understand what you're going through is so precious i welcome you and trina and margaret welcome you with open arms to the most friendly environment you're going to find this friday at 11 o'clock in the parish center i ask anyone who's watching this anybody who's watching this to please please like and share this video so that our community and the people out there who need a little bit of support a little cup of tea and sympathy a little bit of cake i'll be bringing some of my banana bread please please come and join us don't be shy if you're on your own and you don't have help or you don't have anyone to drive you please contact private message the little wishes page or you can phone my phone number is 083-176-5894 that's 083-176-5894 just call me if you're there if you're sad if you're feeling a bit low if you're having a bad day because guess what i'm an expert i've had many many bad days and I've had very many sadnesses, very a lot of upset, so I really know how you feel. And so do these ladies. We've all been there. There's nothing new about this. Everybody goes through the ups and downs. And we want to help you so much to feel a part of a little group that we can take care of each other. I just want to mention my own page, Need a Hug, which is all about connection all about human connection we're all on these videos and doing all this stuff on facebook and youtube and all of that but what really matters is human connection human hugs taking care of one another getting out there and meeting each other and finding new friends it's possible so please come and have the cup of tea and have the chat if you're taking care of a cancer patient and you need a little rest just ask a neighbour or ask somebody to help you out just for the couple of hours to get that little break. We want to help more than anything in the world and this great team of Little Wishes are here to help as well. So I welcome you, I look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock, starting at 11, it goes on till 1 and we'll be there. We'll have lots of contact numbers, resources, help for reading and things that will help you get through this in an easier way because we are there to help. So please share this. And, and also, can I just say, there are so many people who aren't on Facebook and they're the people who may need us most. So if you know of anybody that you feel might find the tea and chat, Little Wishes tea and chat, if you know anyone you think that this may help, can you just please consider being brave 
and contacting them and even knocking on their door and saying, we, I've just found something that could be of help. Don't be scared. If you're really there to help, if you really want to help, people understand that you want to help. Let's not be shy. Let's get to know each other. Let's get to give each other hugs. Most importantly, let's get to have a cup of tea. Beautiful cup of tea and a lovely bit of banana bread. So I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you for taking the time to have a look at this. Please like and share it and tell your friends. And I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.